What is up guys, it's your boy Farwild and I'm back with a commentary. So, I went to EGX or Eurogamer on Sunday, which is basically a gaming expo uh, which was held in Birmingham this year. It was held in London last year, but they moved it to the National Exhibition Expo uh, National Exhibition Centre. And I had the opportunity uh, to play some of the upcoming games, including Halo 5, and I'm going to give you the rundown on what I think, it, well, what's changed from the the beta to now, this was Warzone, and just my overall uh, ideas on it, and how good it is, basically, but before I start going on about how awesome Halo 5 is, <laughs> I'd just like to share something with you guys, and um, it was when... Uh, I just finished playing the Halo 5 uh, Warzone. Uh, it was my first game, and we queued for about me and my mate uh, queued for about two and a half, uh, two two hours to play this, and it was worth every minute of it. I'll just say that for now. I went, I think, 26 for three, and um, as all as we our game finished, I started to walk uh, away from the booth, and someone and I heard someone say, "Hey, Farward," and it was. Just in the corner of my, like, just on my left ear, and I, I wasn't sure, so I didn't want to, like, overcommit and make myself look stupid. So I, I, I saw a little peek round the side, and um, these two guys were just, like, standing in the queue looking at me, and I was. And it took me a moment to register who they were, but. First, uh, one of the guys was the uberest Irishman to ever grace YouTube, the man Uber Mick, and the guy next to him was the modest. What is major, and they were just standing there, and we, and I was, and I, at that moment, I was, I was a little bit in shock because you don't know how good that is, uh, for me to actually be recognised in a public place. I know, obviously, I was around Halo, so you'd probably expect to find me there. And I was tweeting about it and that, but to actually be recognised and for them to actually have the balls to say hey forward because they probably well them I don't know but they they've prob they've never seen me in real life before and they've only seen what I've done on YouTube for us is like web uh, through webcam and that so to actually have the balls and say hey forward when it might not even be me is honestly you know that that's good so I talked to them for a bit about Halo and how awesome the game is and took a uh, Took a selfie, as you do the common stuff. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was just, honestly, such a heartwarming thing to actually be recognised out there. So um, props for them too, Uber Nick and Wallace Major. They're on my channel page. Uh, so yeah, check them out. They're awesome guys. <clears throat> so squeaky, oh, very squeaky chair. Um, on to the Halo, and I managed to play two games of Warzone on, I can't remember the map name, but my god is it good. So first of all, smooth gameplay, absolutely astounding. The I play on bumper jumper and to start with, the controls are a little bit, yeah, but you have to get used to them. For example, the uh, Spartan Charge is a little bit uh, getting used to it and so is the Thruster. But other than that, it's the controls seem to be well laid out. No connectivity issues at all. When you consider the sheer scale of the map, 24 players plus AI, plus vehicles, plus objectives going on, it's really quite special. And over at Xbox Live, no connecti connectivity issues at all. There's always something going on, of course, which obviously, and there was no frame rate dip at all. I didn't notice anything, and it was just so, so good. Um, the Phaeton is awesome. <laughs> Not going to lie to you. I didn't actually get to use it, but mate, I actually stood there and watched him play for a bit. Uh, he used the Phaeton, it did look, look something special. If you don't know what the Phaeton is, it's the Forerunner uh, ship. And there are more uh, vehicles coming in Halo 5. I didn't realise this, but 343, uh, one of the developers went up on stage and he talked about it. And he said there are more vehicles to come. So, fingers crossed for the um, the Hornet or the, I can't remember what it's called in Halo Reach. But man, I'd love to see that transporting players in. Oh, that would be so sick. Um, another thing, which is, I thought was a little bit weird, it's not a disadvantage at all, but uh, the sensitivity seemed to be really, really high. And um, I was playing on 3, which is my default, I always play on 3. But just a little uh, side note, you might want to turn it down to, uh, you might want to knock it down 1 or 2 when you actually play the game. As for me, the sensitivity did seem quite high. Um, 
so yeah, I had a talk, and uh, as I was leaving, I had a talk with the developer guy, and uh, I'm going to look him up on Twitter today, I think. I might check what his uh, name is. I'll put it in the description if I find it. And I, I told him what so, uh, how m how much of a good game it was. It was it was honestly that good, and to be honest, it was fun. And I haven't actually said that about a Halo game since since the Halo Five beta. Or MCC just wasn't you know that fun. But anyway, guys, um, so that's my thoughts on the Halo Five Warzone that I managed to play. If you have any questions, feel free to link to ask me in the description box below. We are fast approaching 200 subscribers. I've got some cool uh, cool stuff from Eurogamer to... If I get to 200, I might do a little giveaway. Cool little Halo 5 t-shirt I managed to get. Um, but yeah, that's all from me. Uh, those are just some brief points I made. If you've uh, got any more questions, feel free to ask. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Like, subscribe, Twitter and Twitch. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.